make it work. Has he even seen me yet? Jack Zombie. He has not even seen me yet, so he's not going to change position quite yet. So let's try to maneuver through these guys. Or we'll just get grabbed permanently and die right here. Whichever, you know. Alright, you moving yet? Yeah, I failed. He already moved past it. Damn it. Alright, so that plan didn't work. Um, now there's no real way for me to avoid him. Short of going around there. Ugh, it's a terrible plan. Terrible plan. I am not going to have the speed to do this. How far away are you? 14. Two spaces away from getting shocked. So now the plan is to get to the end of this and then loop back around and use these vehicles. I need to keep working my way back down to the southwest. I need to get to these houses. Which all show horde indicators. Lovely. Good times. Alright, so I've traded some hit points for um, keeping my stamina up. That's by far the number one thing to surviving these uh, city encounters. Is being willing to take hit point damage to uh, keep your stamina high. Don't just run, run, run. You'll immediately run yourself down a stamina and uh, get killed. So I'm keeping just ahead of them with my 112 movement cost and uh, maintaining my stamina for the important parts where I need to move really, really quickly. And all I'm going to do here is I'm going to make sure this shock zombie gets at least over to this side. Then I'm going to cut straight down and around and he should get tied up on the vehicles while I scoot back to that house area. Alright, not going to check that. Driver's seat's trashed anyway. Now, he can shock me, actually, through this vehicle if he's got a line of sight through all these broken components. So i got to be a little careful about that. I'm hoping I've got enough of a lead. I think he's tied up there now. He's going to follow my scent trail. All right, I'm working my way back over now. Oh, I didn't quite make it. He got hung up right on the front end. <laughs> Not quite what I needed. All right, we'll work with that, though. I don't want to move into the grass. It's so slow. Look how fast he's catching up to me. 159, moving diagonally on the grass. All right, we're going to have to go to run mode for a minute. I just really don't want to get shocked again. I'm going to get to this house. It's the last thing I do. And another shock zombie. Now, he won't shock me through a chain link fence, so I'm less concerned. God damn it crabby bunch of bastards I'm dealing with right here. But he won't shock me until the fence goes down. It's kind of a little known thing about chain link fences. You can actually stand right here and he won't be able to shock you until the fence goes down. Sometimes it's a little hard to predict when the fence will go down, but uh, you can use that tactically. Run mode again, just to get across the fence and into the house. More zombies waiting for me. All right, so where are we? We're at that house there. All right. I uh, really need to get into some bathrooms. This is all a moot point. This running away is not helping me if I can't check bathrooms for the antibiotics. Problem now is, once again, I'd have to bank on there being a, uh, a window in one of these two spaces. Otherwise, my trip down to check that bathroom means it's going to be a dead end. I'm going to have to come back up through zombies in order to get out of there again. That's not ideal. Maybe we can peek through. Uh, nope, that ruined that plan. I gotta, I gotta avoid those guys. Do I take a purse for some carry capacity? I'm not fighting right now, so I think I do. Let's uh, take a purse. Grab a lighter. We're out in the side area. Ooh, fire truck off to the west where that horde is. But I gotta go out the back. Nope. Nothing in the bathtub. Really? Really? 
no window along the back wall, something in it, and the next house is a uh, trashed abandoned property, so it's not going to have anything either. So, total bust. <laughs> not a single opportunity on my way down through these houses. Ugh. Alright, game. Let's see how you're going to be. At least we've still got full stamina. Is this where we get shocked when I step around a corner? Oh, it's even one of those houses. We've got a pretty good-sized crowd coming after us, and I don't have a good way of uh, peeling them off of me right now. All right, cargo truck, fairly useless building, which I knew was going to be the case. Oh, we got wasps out and about, too. Go to town, wasps. Kill all those stupid dogs. What am I looking at? So that's the garage, or the tire shop. Tire shop and an abandoned warehouse. Um, yeah, let's, let's go check the front streets here, see how things look. So that group of zombies just spotted me. Whole bunch of dead zombies from that one wasp. No items in the fire truck on this side. It's possible there are items on the far side if I can get a peek over there. And another wasp. So there must be a wasp house around here somewhere. I there's another wasp. I'm not sure. The house I'm in here is doesn't have the paper walls, does it? I don't see any. I wouldn't expect a warehouse or the tire shop to have that. I'm not sure where these wasps are coming from. They're quick and they will kill me if I'm the closest thing to them, so I gotta be careful here. But I can use them against the zombies by uh, time it and space it right. The problem is timing and spacing it right. <laughs> um. I actually want the zombies closer to me. Hmm. <laughs> I can always phase door out. Well, I could if it, it actually works. One of these days I'll have to introduce you to uh, Vorm's uh, luck modifier that always seems to apply when there's uh, either dice or random numbers involved. With a 50% fail rate and the Vorm modifier applied, applied it's actually about an 80% fail rate. Typically. Alright, so we're going to move out just a little bit so I can get a better view. So the Wasp has done a pretty good job of clearing the route south. If I can bisect them and have enough zombies near me when I do it, I can distract the Wasps into the zombies and uh, clear my exit path. So I'm thinking of actually running north for a second. This guy here is messing with my timing a bit. I got two wasps to play with. As soon as I move south... Uh, what is it telling me about these wasps? It's, it hasn't detected me yet from 18 away on the other side. And that one is injured. Also hasn't detected me yet. I'm not sure the detection range on those guys. I think I'm going to move south a bit. As soon as I see one of them start moving, I'm going to have to reconfigure here. That big group to the north is all interested in that other wasp. So all of these guys are tied up trying to go after that. Hmm. Problem is, I don't... Th my issue here is there's not enough zombies near me. These wasps will kill this zombie almost immediately and then come right after me and I don't have any real good way of getting away from them. I actually need more zombies near. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, I hate it when those wasps use those Z-levels. <laughs> Has anybody who has seen my uh, YouTube video about uh, Romulan cloaking wasps, all he did was he just moved up a level. He moved up a Z-level. So he, he could drop right on top of me at any second and sting me. There he is. All right, now he's on the move. He's heading for that first zombie. I'm going to start running now. I need to be out of sight, out of the area, before uh, he changes direction. But let's look at what's on the ground. So, 22, some ammo. Cash cards, lighters. 
Multi-tool. I'd love to grab a multi-tool, but I can live without it for the moment. A lot of different clothing types. A whole lot of different clothing. All right, I'm not going to sort through the filthy clothing right now. Do to do to do. Minor food items, multivitamins. All right, nothing really super critical that I'd risk my life to grab right now. All right, let's uh, let's get out of here before the wasp finishes off those two zombies. So we're around the corner. I could go up on the roof. Break in file, sling pack, cargo pants. Nah, let's leave him alone. Uh, paper wall. Oh, it is the warehouse. So the abandoned warehouse is the wasp location. Ah! <laughs> God damn it. Uh, that's ridiculous. There's got to be a fix for this nonsense. I'm standing out in an open field and I don't see a giant wasp hovering. I, I can see him when he's 10 feet off the ground. He turns invisible when he goes 11 feet off the ground. <laughs> I hate that. Lovely. Ugh. Well, and I burned a stamina bar getting to here. And we got a roadblock to the southwest. Even better. Nothing close enough to make the target, except for that uh, guy up north, maybe. Let's see how far I get with the wasps chasing me. Oh, now it's two wasps chasing me. We're going to die to wasps. Because I do not have the stamina for this. Yep. Uh, I really don't like this. This is this is bad mechanics. This is bullshit mechanics. Again, we're going to get screwed by bullshit mechanics. Come on, zombie. Get close to me here before I get killed. Or run out of stamina. Now I need to get out of here before they get... Uh, or before they finish him. Nope, he's dead. Alright, we're going to die. I got absolutely nothing I can do about this. Uh, son of a bitch. Now I'm getting kind of annoyed. This will be two runs in a row, two attempts that have failed because of just broken ass mechanics. Cast magic missile. I'll cast magic missile, but it's not going to kill these things that quickly. And it's going to fail half the time. Ugh. And the same thing will happen if I try to run for that zombie. I'm already almost out of stamina. Two of them are going to kill him in one round and then immediately just jump back on me. Oh, come on. It's ridiculous. <sighs> Phase door, I don't think it's going to help. I mean, yeah, maybe it will get me, move, move me in the right direction. It's got a 50% fail rate and a 50%. Even if it goes off, there's a chance it's going to move me closer to the wasps. <laughs> yes, I know about phase door. It's not going to help. It's going to fail 50% of the time and it's going to move me towards them. Half the time it does succeed. <laughs> I'm going to have to go with Magic Missile. I, I don't know. Are they damaged? One's very lightly damaged. So the one to the south. So here we go. Magic Missile. One to the south. Damage four. Lightly injured. How much does it do? We actually hit for three damage. And it didn't even move his bar. It's not going to be nearly enough. They're going to get on me and be stinging me before I drop even a single one with the uh, Magic Missile. Uh, run for the zombie. <laughs> just instantly kill him. And then I can't get rid of him again. Yeah, it's just stupid. Alright, well, we're going to die right here in the middle of the field because of uh, bullshit invisible wasp mechanic. <sighs> I can't even get the spell off, apparently. Phase door. Ignore, ignore. Hey, look, we phase doored. I'm so excited. That was awesome. <laughs> 
Try crouching? Yeah. Um, yeah, we're dead. There's absolutely nothing I can do about this. We're just gonna get stung to death. Severe pain, stats dropping, we're gonna get slower and slower. I got nothing nearby I can use as a distraction. I got no buildings I can use for cover close enough. I am not amused. That's twice now we've gotten killed by totally random broken mechanics. And I'm getting more than a little annoyed. Alright, here we go again. We're going to see the return of Grumpy Vorm. Vormithrax the third. Nothing wrong with the character. There's nothing wrong with the uh, strategies. It's just broken ass crap. So put us on the front railing of a house. That's not convenient. <laughs> it's not even a little bit convenient. Uh, whoa. What the hell? Library? Bookstore? 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 <laughs> Library? Oh no, that's a landfill. Pretty good ratio. No recycling center. It's got a school, so it's got what? Four bookstores, a library, and a school? So yeah, it's uh it's Bookville. Not gonna make a difference if it uh kills me with some more bullshit mechanics though. Hmm. Hey buddy. Block 19, army helmets. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Another Jabberwock. Hey, we got a lighter. With 17 charges. The Jabberwock, way off. That's not bad. A lot farther than usual. Normally I see it in the like nearest adjacent forest, but that one actually put it off a ways. I wonder if it puts it outside or at the edge of the detection range. No, they did it in the middle of the city last time. I don't know what rules govern it, but usually it's right around the nearest forest space. I'm a little surprised how far it's put it this time. Uh, so I'm happy about the number of books in the city. I'm not happy about the street arrangement and our access to houses. We're in a pretty poor spot for that kind of stuff. Um, with barns not gonna offer much we got craters in the city we got a mega store or abandoned shopping complex nothing on the outskirts much i'm gonna have to go buy a school again if i go that direction i don't think i have that much choice though i think i'm gonna have to try to go north through the garden house and then house 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 Try to work my way over and see if I can get to this outskirts here. I don't see a particular reason to go any other direction. No doctor's offices in this one, so that cuts down quite a bit on the uh, chances for the antibiotics. Uh, we do have a pharmacy up here too, and another one there. So yeah, north it is. So we need to go into and through this house, or jump into a working vehicle immediately. Hmm, off-road. It's got off-road wide wheels. No battery. That's not going anywhere. Wheels, yes. Busted up alternator. Everything else looks okay. It's got a working security system, and it's possible it's got keys in it. Is it worth me running out there to check? Oh, never mind. We got an excavator. It's not perfect, but it's going to be a working excavator. Okay, good old landfills. Construction sites have a chance for perfect excavators. Landfills have a chance for not perfect, but still working excavators. I am running for that. There's our safety right there. Do I go in the house first, though? I think I go in the house first. Let's, uh... Oh, yeah. Nope. No, we don't want that. Need the string. Oh, thank you, dude. That's gonna help tremendously. You over there firing your gun. Uh, let's eat. Uh, it's frozen solid. Grab uh, the matchbook. 
As much as I'd like the food items, I'm not going to take them. Man, all right. So we got lots of, uh, we got fire making capability down. Augmentative tech and a ukulele. Um, I'm sure, I guess. Come on, clothes that have uh, capacity, please. No, I'm not going to worry about that. He's just blasting away over there. Again, nothing with carry capacity. All right, that's about all I think that's going to be useful there. Hey, buddy. You having fun? Got some aspirin, that's good. More fire making. I need at least one plastic bottle. Do I throw on filthy cargo pants? Block hit the ground, and there's nine mil sitting here. Hmm. 32 round or 80 rounds of 32 ACP. That's interesting. So we've got a Glock 19 with 12 rounds on the 15 round clip, and we've got 50 rounds of FMJ that we can uh, reload with. I don't use pistols especially much in the early game, but um, we'll take it. All right, so plan's the same though. We're still gonna try to get out of here while he's distracting the local zombies. So I need to be farther away than the other zombies. Um, Farther away from him than the zombies. God, what, it's staggering like, or it's stuttering like hell right now. I think it's all the NPC doing it, but uh, really annoying. All right, so between me and the precious, precious excavator, not much. A couple of low-level zombies, and I need to just whip it around and get it on the street here. Then I think the plan is still... Well, let's see here. Excavator's going to change things, possibly. What are these? Oh, that's bus stations again. That's probably two different bus stations. Just having them next to each other makes it look weird. I think I'd still go straight north. I think I'm still going to go straight north up the road here. Try to get out into the open and then maybe creep back to look in the pharmacy real quick. And uh, use the forest for cover to try to sneak into the housing up here. So... Let's see if we can get around these guys without getting grabbed. Blow some running speed here. Ah, oh, it's not gonna work. <laughs> no battery charge. Damn it, and no, no gas. Well, that changes things. I thought it was gonna work. Solar vehicle. It's got wheels. Security system. Let's go. What the heck? I have an NPC over here? I'm confused. That NPC is still alive? I can't tell. No, that NPC died. Now there's an NPC sitting right here. I only have static NPCs turned on. I don't have random NPCs turned on. So how the hell is there an NPC over there? I'm confused. And there's zombies inside of the uh, solar vehicle tearing it apart. All right, well, now this is gonna go poorly. Maybe we will go south after all and check out the bookstores. Yeah, it uh, says Chef, so it's a restaurant. So maybe it's a new static NPC that's available in uh, restaurants. Huh. Oh. 
So, if I try to hop in the bookstore, they're going to follow me in. There's no windows on the exterior, I don't believe. Shock zombie to the southwest. Much as I'd like to get a peek in here, I don't think it's something I can afford to do. And I got multiple dogs chasing me. Gotta stay ahead of the dogs long enough to get in the house. Get a door. Oops, get a door between me and them. Fruit leathers, archery for kids. I would like to grab, and I don't have the space for it, a pot or something, but uh, until I manage to slip on some more clothing with some carry capacity, it's not gonna happen. Leather pants. Leather pants, poor fit, 0.5. Nothing in the bathroom. <laughs> and there's a fire burning. Oh, it's because lava's going through it. That's right. Always funny to find something on fire. It's almost always caused by a lava rift running right through the middle of it. So that block of uh, buildings might be going down. Which is, includes one of the bookstores. Well, I might lose a bookstore to a fire. Hmm. Which way to go? I think I'm going to try to go... If I cut across the street... So here's where I'm at. If I cut across the street to that house, and that's the fire right there, may or may not make it. Then cross the street and go down this way. Try to get to this block of housing, kind of buried in the south southwest corner of town. I like having uh, forest and swamp nearby that I can retreat into. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to try to do. So we need to make it across the street here. Let's wait here until I actually have to move. Which is going to be as soon as that window goes down. <laughs> Damn it. I'm not going to get the, the, the pause I was hoping for. Alright, back to running. <laughs> Another shock zombie. And the house I was heading to is on fire. And it's multiple shock zombies again. I don't know what to say. This is... This is rough. This is some rough stuff. Hmm. Mm. No, unfortunately you can't wear the pot directly. There is a pot helmet craft you can do, but I can't just wear it. All right, so I'm screwed again. Every direction I try to go so far has uh, put shock zombies directly in my path or has uh, screwed me by dropping zombies through a basement roof or... <laughs> or, or, lots of ors. Triples, uh, triple shock. No, quadruple, I am bracketed by shock zombies. I have two shock zombies to the north and two shock zombies to the south. <laughs> And I'm already running out of stamina. Jeez, this is... Alright, well, we got to avoid all that nonsense if I can. Fortunately, they're going to catch me so quick, I'm going to get shocked. Almost guaranteed by the north one if I try to get to the clear way here. As soon as I start clambering through all this grass, these two are going to catch up to me and hit me. Big surprise. Uh, how many shocks am I going to take? Two, three. I'm going to hit again before I get out of range. Yeah, managed to make it to there at least, but now we're into the yellow. Shimmy up on the roof. Bookstore's got roofs apparently. Or try to head due south and get across the street. I'll pull them through the, uh, yeah. I got a shock zombie in here, so if I try to come south, I might get tagged again. I'm worried about coming all the way across before I come south. I think I have to do that, though. Oh, now I got a pack of five dogs and two, uh, three runners coming after me. <laughs> oh, we get blasted again. 
Yeah, this is going for shit. I don't know what's going on. I'm seeing way more shockers than I usually see right at the beginning. It's really putting a damper on things. Oh, come on. <laughs> he's moving through a junkyard and all that rubble and he's still managing to tag me. At least the, uh, the fence line is killing a few of the dogs. Alright, haven't looked ahead of me. I'm not sure what I'm moving into. They're rubbleizing one building. Nothing too terrible so far. Not gonna try to get into any of these vehicles. Have to run for a moment to get clear there. And there's something waiting for me again. Ah, oh, spider basement. Can't catch a break. Back out we go. Multiple hits. Alright, pick a door, pick a door. No cellar, more zombies. Gotta go this way. Nothing in the bathroom. Our stamina maxed out again. Take an aspirin while we're here. Jeez. Uh, can't, can't, can't avoid them. The map is just having its way with me today. And of course, the house I want to get to has no windows on this side again. No immediate shock zombies or dogs. So we'll make it across. Getting mighty ugly though. Alright, well it's out in front of me. Fire truck with stuff right there. That's all the turnout gear. I'd love to get in some turnout gear right now, but um, not likely to manage it. So it is right about here. I hope to get back to that. I need to duck into this building. Which is occupied again. Alright. No, nothing useful there. <laughs> Just can't get away from these hordes. Something feels different. Something feels different about the way things are happening. I've done these kinds of silly challenges, geez, 50 times, and the map gen just feels weird, and the zombies are still moving a little weird. I don't know how to describe it, but uh, mostly it's just the way the zombies are, are distributed. Just seems a little odd right now. Try to duck into this house. These guys are going to come down. I'm going to have to go around that guy. Hope there's nothing out this way. I can't afford to stay out in the open. So i got to go into the room. There you go. That's where I wanted you. Now we're going to run around you. Get into the basement real quick. Gamer basements. How many zombies are going to drop into the basement with me? Problem is there's not much in the gamer basement that I'm going to make use of, unfortunately. Uh, we got nauseous because of the infection. I could still try to drink something, but um, it's not going to help me. Oh, there's some zombies dropping into the basement already. I'm really not a fan of that mechanic. I'd love to grab the water, but I am pretty close to maxed out. I think I'm going to dump the augmentative tech. I'm just, it's, I got more important needs right now. So the last time I got in a basement, I tried to stand around or walk around in order to get my stamina back, and I got screwed by zombies just dropping through the ceiling and then instantly surrounding me. 
Better not happen a second time. All right. Fortunately, we can't stay here. There's not enough down here that I can use. We're getting close to working our way out to the outside perimeter. I still need, I gotta get across one more street and then do this little diagonal shuffle here and really, really hope we get to a usable position out here without a whole crap load of zombies. Otherwise, we're in pretty big trouble. Not that we aren't already. Distressing pain, infection, all that stuff. All right, we'll see. Let me check back in with chat. I've been kind of focused on the nonsense. What you guys been talking about? <laughs> hey there, Crystal Pepsi. All right, yeah, we got to head back upstairs. So full stamina, hit points are okay. Pain, uh, can't do much about. The infection's actually causing a low-level constant pain, plus all the hits I'm taking. I've already got a few aspirin in me. Painkiller effect is starting to work it down. And we've picked up a few things. I do have a Glock. Um, I can't cast while I've got that on, so... Oh, yeah, that's right. We haven't even read our, our spell book yet. It's been run, run, run. Um, yeah, let's get moving before too many more things show up down here. Again, I'd like to check. I'm not going to be able to check the bathroom on this one. Let's just go out through the window. Alright. This one, I've got lots and lots of light making. Okay, let's dump some. Get rid of all of these. Don't need all that stuff. Way too big. Then which... <laughs> Can't carry it. I'd hate leaving stuff behind. Ah, high level book. All right, note. Get stuffs here. Can't seem to get any storage capacity clothing either. Wait, where's the bathroom in this place? Oh, never mind, I checked it. All right. Okay, so we're at the next uh, cross the street stage. So let's go out. Yeah, this probably is the best way. All right, I'm hoping for a minor and shockless zombie population. Ooh, guess what? Once again, I'm getting screwed by the map. <laughs> just, just don't know what to say. This is map screw job number three. Fungal zombies. We've got fungus down here. So the direction I'm heading is my salvation. There's some kind of a fungal presence out this way. Just off the edge of the map, probably. So I can't go this way either. <laughs> oh, man. Funny, funny, funny. Ambulance. I can see the one basket. Too many zombies nearby, unless they're all chasing fungus around. Which they might. The ambulance is like right here. Um, I think I'm going to go towards the ambulance and hope things arrange in a way that I can get into the ambulance. Stop running. Damn it. You mean to be running that whole time. Alright, zombies can see me. What's on the ground out here? Nothing immediately useful. Three baskets of stuff. That guy's right in the doorway. 
I really just need to pull these guys away a bit, then circle back, run in the side, go out the other side, and then try to get into this house. If I can manage it. So, let's... What's coming at me? Nothing fast. I think maybe I'll duck into this house in the corner here. Loop around and lose them, and then try to work my way back up into the ambulance. Thank you, Mr. Soldier Man. Uh, let's go down this way. Empty bathroom again. Zombies in the building again. Not sure why I'm still surprised. Ah, they broke the other door. Let's see which door breaks first. Alright, time to go out the window. I have a clearer path to the ambulance now. Hmm. Mildly. Back to walk mode. Come over this way, zombies. Come on. Everybody follow me. Get away from the ambulance. Alright, now we're gonna sprint our way over to the ambulance and hope we get a clear route in. Alright, what do we got? Not what I needed. Not helpful, ambulance. Not what I was hoping for. You drivable? No battery. <laughs> I like how that vehicle still got some stuff coming. Some exhaust, even though it's 50% uh, trashed. Okay, I see a uh, basement in the house to my south. I haven't seen any other fungal on my screen yet. So I'm not sure. I mean, there's an obvious fungal right there. But we must be on the outer limits of the fungal area. But even that's going to get overrun. Alright, let's work our way down in here. You've got to be kidding me! <sighs> I give up. <laughs> Can I go play Tetris or something instead? Oh. I find a gunsmith basement and it's got acid ants in it. <sighs> just, I just don't understand which gods I pissed off. Uh, the underground acid ant. Empty bathroom again. So, we've got fungal and acid ants in this one. <laughs> uh, I'm still alive, but I'm heading into worse and worse and worse and worse <laughs> situations. Uh, I was hoping to get to that dresser, but now I'm going to have to dodge him. Light jacket. Maybe I can get to Windbreaker. Give it to me. And now we've got a bite to go with everything else. Alright. Yeah. Now I've got now I got two bites. So I'm now getting torn apart by a decayed zombie. This is just about the easiest <laughs> lowest level zombie possible. This guy is the only thing I can think of that's easier than this guy. And now i I went to put a jacket on and he bit me twice. <laughs> oh my goodness. My goodness. Grabbed again successfully. Yeah, I've about had it. <laughs> I just, I, I don't know what to say at this point. I don't know how many times I can put myself through these uh, situations. 
It's just non-stop disappointment and screwage by the uh, random factors. No stamina. So we're going to get caught. Every single house is full of zombies. Have I been in a single house that hasn't been full of zombies yet? I, I'm hard-pressed to think of houses that haven't had zombies. No matter where I've gone, there's been zombies. Ugh. Um, I, yeah. yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Little kids catching up to me, of course. I can't go into the garage entry port because uh, I can't get through a door. Hey, more fungus. Come play with the fungal monsters. There, that'll distract the zombies that were following me. Not that that really helps me much, so... Like I said, we got fungus over here, so... <clears throat> Still can't get any carry capacity items. Ooh, a towel. Don't need a towel. Haven't seen any uh, useful medical gear yet, short of the bandages that I picked up. None of that's going to be helpful. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't want to take time right here to read with zombies in the area. Yeah, maybe there's enough time. It'd be better if I did it here with a narrow view out that way and I can go out two directions. All right, let's... Uh, Let's get our magic done. What the, what the heck? Why not? I don't care. Yes. And give me... Phase door. Alright, so we've got our two spells. Uh, can I target them on nothing? Stop casting spell? No. No, apparently I have to have a target. Cancel, please. <sighs> Got to get across the street. It's going to have to be across the street, back through these various houses. Keep looking for uh, dis disinfectant or antibiotics. No, no reason to stop. Go ahead and drink our water. And have some potato chips. Anything on the bodies outside? Miracle antibiotics or disinfectant? Nope. Um. Yeah, let's just, uh, Get over to the next house. Alright, guys, keep playing with those. 45 caliber switchblade. Multi-tool. I'm going to go grab the multi-tool. I don't think I can afford to pick up filthy clothing right now. As much as I need the carry capacity. Yeah, multi-tool is going to be my only choice here. Alright, multi-tool gets me what again? That gets me a little bit of cutting, metal sign, bolt turning one. Alright. Nothing immediately useful, but uh, see what we can do. Alright, more zombies in the houses, because, of course, every house has got to have its supply of zombies. More pliers, nothing else, nothing hiding in the bathtub. I'm gonna switch rooms here. Black pepper and a sports drink. <laughs> okay, that I wasn't expecting. <laughs> Step next to the thing and hey look, it's a dead coyote. And they keep the Playboy in the drawer, but no clothes. 
Alright, let's uh, see if we can switch to the other house. Oops. Sorry about that, Mr. Zombie. Stop running! Arr, naturally now there's a runner. And again, no medicine in the bathroom. Runner's loose! Um, let's see, if I go to that house... Then I'd have to go to there. It's going to be crossing a street again. Everything else is open, which is going to suck. Whoa! There's a bit of a cluster. And I think they have spotted me. No, nope, they haven't spotted me yet. Ah, can't go that direction, obviously. So we're going to run this way. There's another cluster. I think they now have spotted me. Yep, they have spotted me. I got no good choices here. It's just all open territory all the way around me. I'll be able to use the chain link a bit for protection. This, I think, is the fast food restaurant, the edge of it, in the parking lot. And then there's a house up that direction. We're going to have to go that way. There you go. Into the chain link with all you guys. Whoa, where the hell did those guys come from? They all come out of that house behind me? Alright, let's try to use the fence line there, too. I don't... Was the grab indicator hidden by the uh, being sick indicator there? <laughs> Alright, restaurant's not going to have enough of interest to me. Uh, hey, Remo. Ten month streak. Long time, long time. Thanks for the resub, appreciate that. 87%. Getting close to the goal. All right. Don't need multivitamins. We'll grab them, but nothing in the Switch rooms. Can't get out of here without getting uh, into a bad situation. So back out we go. I think this is a duplex. I uh, can't open the door from the inside. All right, that's a dead end then. They're starting to cluster up pretty good now. Staying just barely ahead of this runner. <laughs> Heavy duty cables and nothing else. There is a bathroom through here, nothing in it, bedroom, cargo shorts, nope, just regular shorts. I can't get anything, I can't get tools, I can't get uh, medicine, I can't get clothing. It's been a bizarre start to this run. All the map problems and random uh, screw yous are not helping of course. I've now run all over this damn side of the city. Can't run that. That barely has wheels. Motor's pretty messed up. Oh, uh, that might be drivable though. Security system's gone, but uh, everything else is in place. And the solar panels are you know, all in fair shape, so it's definitely got energy. So this one could run. Well, this one will run. For sure. There's no motor to worry about, or no uh, engine that might be faulty to worry about. So it's just a matter of how efficient it'll be and how much energy it has. So that's drivable. The other one has wheels, engines in better shape, security systems also broke, so this one's also drivable, and I'd much rather have the electric SUV. Solar panels are a little messed up, but uh, it's workable, so yeah, either one of these would be drivable. 
a little easier to tell solar cars that can work because you don't have the mystery of the uh, faulty engine possibilities. The uh, eight or ten different things that could be wrong with the engine. Some some will let it run, some won't. So you can tell an electric car just from long distance whether it's going to work or not. Broken security system is one of the most important. I can't point at it while I'm doing this, but security system's broke, so I don't have to worry about that. Storage battery is pretty hammered, so it might be having a problem holding the charge. So it's going to depend. If I can get over there, I'll look at them both. It's going to depend on which one's got a better battery. I'd rather drive the SUV if I can manage it. But that's not going to help me a whole lot. Um, being able to move is not really going to solve my current problem. I've got no, no doctor's offices anywhere on this entire map. I got forced down here to the south. I've had quite the run. I mean, <laughs> all the way down here and then across and then looped around and then back up again. Still alive. Two bites to go along with our uh, infection. These bites are going to also go infected here if I take too many more hits. So yeah, good times all around. I guess we're just going to head straight for the vehicles. See how they look. I need to get there with enough stamina. All right, so 10% and 15%. So like I said, that one is definitely drivable. And the SUV, yeah, SUV both storage batteries are pretty trashed. Neither one of these is gonna get me very far. They'll, uh, they'll run out of energy real quick. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> you got that reversed. That's uh, two deep bites and an infection. <laughs> We've had uh, a really rough go. This is attempt number three. First attempt got screwed by broken mechanics. Second attempt got screwed by broken mechanics. And third attempt has just been wonky, wonky ass map. All three of them have been uh, throwing up roadblocks for map gen and random critters in the wrong spots constantly. Down this direction where we were hoping to set up a little safe area, we've got uh, fungus and acid ants hanging out. Apparently from just off the edge of the screen. So now we're trying to relocate. I got to make a decision if I hop in one of these vehicles and drive for a bit. Um, Trailhead's got a vehicle too. It does have a wheel fighting a fungus up there. Engine does show a fault. Alternator's pretty trashed. And security system's functional. That one's going to be a big mystery whether we'd be able to drive it. And it doesn't show any gas in the tank. I'm going to say that's not drivable. The tank is showing empty there. I don't think that one has a second tank. So we're not going to try to get to that one. Being able to diagnose vehicles from a distance is a pretty important thing to learn how to do. It saves you a lot of movement effort <laughs> when you can look at something from afar and know what to look for to just completely rule out something. You can't always diagnose it completely, but uh, there's a lot of things you can look for that'll keep you from going to check. Uh, if I were going to drive one, I think I would probably just try to drive it up to here. See if I can get into one of these houses cleanly and then check these. I'm still pretty much on the desperate hunt for disinfectant and antibiotics. I don't have enough other close houses. I don't want to try to cr run across this open area. Yeah. All right, let's let's hop in this one. Like I said, it's gonna it's gonna dive really really quickly. So seven and seven percent and two percent. So let's uh, see if we can at least get a little bit of distance between us and some zombies <laughs> and some fungus. Okay, so we made it up to the point I wanted. We're now at uh, 7 and 1%. And it's not too bad. That's better than I thought it would be. But it's lightly populated up here. Comparatively speaking. Or do I just drive... We've got two pharmacies over here. There's no way I can drive a solar vehicle through these streets. I'm wondering if there's an end around here to get around this forest. I suspect there isn't, and I'll just get stuck out in the field up here. 
Alright, let's uh let's drive to the back side of the building here. 